Okay, we're live! It's me, Commander Byron Von Soup. You can come through across the internet to install the relays. What are we doing? Well, we're going to go and join the uh, Magpie Mafia Discord server. Um, and say hello. Right, I should be able to hear you now. Say hello. Welcome hello. Back. There we go. Right, okay, we're streaming now. So, I uh, got with us um, uh, Modu. Say hello, Modu. Hello. <laughs> And Commander Powers say hello, Powers. Hello. <laughs> okay, fantastic. Um, so, uh, it should be fun. Right, so we're searching for Raxler. Uh, <laughs> it sounds really odd when we say that now, doesn't it? Um, <laughs> yeah, what are you doing? Oh, we were looking for like the greatest myth in Elite. Yeah, it was all fun. We had cookies and stuff. It was great. Uh, okay, so we need to wing up with your powers, don't I? Yeah. Invite to wing. Off we go. There we go. Right, okay, so I'm going to make my way out to where you are, mate. You should be some a fair distance out. Um, Lave's in lockdown, by the way. Did you know that? Didn't know that. Yeah. There we go. Ah, oh, it's only 836 light years out. It's all good. It's all good. Practically here. Yeah, it's all good. <clears throat> okay. All ready to go. Alright. Landing coupler disengaged. You are clear to leave. Away we go. Landing gear retracted. Speed restrictions are now lifted. Safe travels, Commander. Frameshift drive charging. Come on. Oh, I knew it was going to do that. I boosted away and I had to turn around and I accidentally boosted back towards the station and it mass locked me again. <laughs> that was annoying. It's the destination behind the station. Yeah. So I've got another idea. You want another theory? Uh, not not really, but a, a method, I guess. If um, if Raxla is traveling, oh, like we discussed, yeah, it shows up in different systems at different Frame times. Drive, yeah, um, we have, I guess, some ideas of which systems those may may be. Yeah, well, one of the, one of the running theories uh, is that. Um, so Raxler is supposed to have been discovered around the year 3000. So that's when the Dark Wheel and the Riders are supposed to have discovered it. And um, and uh, uh, if that is the case, that's like 200 and f what 90 years before the frameshift drive as we know it is invented. Because the frameshift right. drive we have is stolen from Thargoid technology. Um, Makes Soul most likely. So, um, we we know at the time of 3000 is when certainly the first game was out. Um, and that was all based in Leasty and Lave and all that, mate. So, okay. we, so that's a really good place to start, is looking around there. Um, and probably the drives that they had at the time would have been had a range of about four light years. I think in game it was about 
uh, a little more than that. I think it was around seven, wow, seven, okay. nine, seven to nine or so. So there we go. You see. You can actually pull up the old game and check. Oh, that'd be good if you could do that. That'd be great. Let us know. So it's uh, free on Frontier's site. You can download the original game and play it. Ah, uh, maybe if I can just get, if I can get the the manual, that might tell me a bit more and tell me what the range was. But if that's the case, yeah, then we can figure enough. out how long it might have taken them to discover it. Fuel scooping. So they had frameshift capabilities. Yep, they and had, um, had well, they had hyperspace drives. They had hyper hyperspace had. drives, which is what we've got, but it's just we called them frameshift drives. Um, and yeah. uh, and hyperspace, and then hyperspace, hyperspace got the. Um, the uh, um, drive nickname of Witch Space, because yeah. people thought that the, all the the travelers beforehand that had got tr trapped in Witch Space mm -hmm. um, were still in there. The ghosts of them were still in there. So whenever they went into, if you go into into hyperdrive, that jump, you see all those strange lights and you hear strange noises. They thought they were the ghosts of those who died previously <laughs> um, and they were still trapped there in hyperspace so they started calling it witch space have you ever read ender's game no that's one of the best sci-fi books it's in the top 10 most really? of the top 10 is uh i've seen the film much older stuff oh it's it's way better than the film I is was it disappointed. yeah Ah, I the see. Film should have been uh, three parts, three movies at least. Oh, it's that big, lot. yeah. <sighs> so, if you read the book series, it's really interesting when you get to the end of Ender's Game series. Um, they discover something like this witch space. And it's really interesting. Yeah? I won't say any more than that, just that it might spoil it a little bit. Yeah, I love it when they play with concepts like that. It's it's, it's really good stuff. I like it. I mean, I, I'm reading, at the moment, I'm reading And Here the Wheel. Um, mm -hmm. And I, I will read some of um, Wagner's stuff too, because I'm going to meet him in, um, in November. So, Drew Wagner. He's at, oh, wow. uh, he's at Fantasticon, so I'm going to Fantasticon, and uh, I don't own a hardback copy of either of his Elite books, so I'm going to buy, uh, hopefully he'll be selling those books there, I'm going to buy them and get him to sign them, so that's going to be fantastic. Yeah, that's cool. So I'm going to be like, hey Drew, how you doing? Where's Raxler? <laughs> Tell me where Raxler is, please. <laughs> I was wondering if uh, Canon Research Group has ever tried posting lookouts to monitor systems to watch for Raxler if it shows up. Uh, good, good question. Like good question. I, I don't know. I mean, one of the theories is that it's a rogue planet, um, which would certainly explain why it's not been found. Because if it's moving, yeah. people won't notice, will they? You know. Um, and then hopefully shows up when you scan a system yeah you may have to rerun a discovery scanner for it to show up though on a system you don't normally run a discovery scanner in. uh but maybe you don't even think of that because you just look and go oh yeah but um lave's been scanned lave's been scanned yeah so a billion times probably One. I mean, it can't be a range thing, so even if it's at long range. Um, yeah, discovery scanners are supposed to be. Yeah, really infinite. Infinite. you know. If, if they pick up an orbital, they're going to pick up. You know, right. and we, we found what? We found some stuff here that's light years away, haven't we? So. Yeah, you know. yeah millions of light seconds. Surprisingly, we found people who have flown all the way out there too to scan them. <laughs> yeah. So. 
They're better explorers than I am. Well, they have more patience, that's for sure. Yeah. You know. You know, that's space madness hitting them, you know. <laughs> right. Surgeon's Travels reference, right? Absolutely. <laughs> are you uh, are you signed up for that um, Distant Worlds trip? I'm not. Are you not? I, You're not going on it? No? I don't feel like I can consistently plan on playing certain days. Like, this weekend, we got lucky. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. I have too much other stuff going on. <laughs> hey, Kaitina. Good to see you. <laughs> All hail together. So Kaitina says, So now you're not just looking for a needle in a stack of needles. You're looking for a needle that can move between stacks of needles. Good luck exactly. with that. Yeah. <laughs> so what we're doing here, Ka I mean, I'll tell you exactly what we're doing, Kaitina. Um, uh, uh, Powers, who you can hear talking, um, he's um, he came up with a, a really good idea, and he's researched it um, for Raxler. And that is that the the word Raxler, when you um, put it into some numerology sites, um, comes up with uh, references to Capricorn. So we are literally traveling the stars of the Capricorn constellation scanning and looking that's what we're doing um we've completed what about 28 of them is it um something like that i think there's 32 we may have five or six it's about left. five six left yeah should be good so that is what we've been doing that's what we did what when did we do that saturday didn't we so yesterday yeah, yeah saturday. um and that is why we're calling it the goat fish expedition So hey, Kathy, you know. <laughs> I don't have any chat window up, so I don't know. That's good. I'm not gonna hear any replies. <laughs> Kathy hates expiration. Oh, she loathes it. I gotta say, it wasn't my favorite thing in the world until Multi Crew came out, and I jumped in some other guys exploration vessels yeah out in deep space and rode with them for a while it was pretty fun Frameship drive charging certainly is keeping us busy Kathina that is it now it's good though it's good to be able to turn around and say after doing all this work and locking all these systems and getting to triple elite it's good to turn around and say now we're actually looking for it we're actively looking for Raxler now yeah and this is just one of the many theories that we've been talking about. Um, so we're going to try this. And it kind of has it has merit behind it. Because um, Robert Holstock, who um, basically came up with the idea of Raxler, what Raxler is, and, and the myth and the legend of it, um, he, was, he was quite a sort of new age type of guy. Many of his other books were very... Um, um, into Celtic religion and they were they're into New Age Arthurian legend theories and things like that uh, which is why you kind of have that New Age feel about elite you know that, that there's things hidden away in places and what have you and there's secrets and stuff and all that kind of stuff you know <laughs> can you see this says it just reminds me of that scene from Spaceballs with the space balls combing the desert with actual combs. We ain't found shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, nobody said it's going to be easy, Kathy. If it was easy, somebody would have found it by now. That's a good name for a ship. What? Comb. Comb? <laughs> Fuel scooping. Combing for Rexel. Absolutely. What? What is going what? Skip out. Play me another song. There we go. Alright, how, how am I doing here? 
Uh, I don't think I'm all that far away from you now, mate. Oh, only ten jumps to go. It's okay. It's all good. Halfway. I'm uh, gathering some uh, materials. Shooting some rocks. I'm on one of the moons. That's no moon. Oh, there we go. Right. Oh, there we go. Bit of fuel scooping, I think. There we go. Fuel's back up. Warning. Temperature critical. Fuel scooping complete. Oh, I need to clarify one other thing. Yep. I didn't discover this. Uh, it was Steve Shaw. Oh yes, Steve. Yeah. Steve originally came up with this idea, and uh, we were I'm, discussing. Rex yeah, Lee, yeah. Three, this link with me. Two, one, engage. Uh, well, I, I, the concept of a rogue planet is that it follows some sort of orbit. Um, but that orbit is not based around a, a sun the way that we would see it. Uh, it may be based around multiple stars. Yeah, maybe, yeah, yeah. So okay. it's getting dragged it's away and thrown away and what have you and stuff like this, you know. Probably more like a planet-sized comet. This is um, this is really interestingly enough. I'm into um, the ancient alien theory, um, and one of the ancient alien theories is that. Um, uh, a planet um, kind of um, dropped off its aliens into our solar system so many thousand years ago um, mm. uh, and the, the way that it's described in the Sumerian texts um, really baffled people until scientists discovered rogue planets and funny enough it actually fits the, the description of a rogue planet it, it's uh, its orbit that takes it in and out of our solar system. Um, actually, actually, kind of sounds like a rogue planet. So there's there's a there's a, a lot of uh, ancient alien theorists who turn around and say, well, how did they know? You know, how did they know that there was this this theory of a rogue planet? There must have been aliens, you know. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you that would make so it out. um entering other systems possible without faster than light travel. Well, I'm passing through all sorts of systems that have been undiscovered here. So this is pretty cool. Frameshift drive charging. Um, maybe Kythena, maybe it has, maybe that's what's so special about it, yeah. So we're also making a few assumptions. Say again? We're making several assumptions, I think. Oh, uh, we so are making lots of assumptions. Hunt we for are. Axel, anyway. Yeah, well, I mean, this we're, we're signing this one off thing. because it's as good as any other. Let's be honest. Yeah. 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 So by doing yeah. this, we can tick it off the list. They go right. We've done this. We've been out and had a look at them all uh, in the Capricana um, constellation, and it's not there. So you know. Or at least it wasn't when we checked. Well, that's true. We got we got five more to do. So we're going to have a look at these other five, and then. You know, we'll know. Um, one of the assumptions is when we scan, that it's going to show up and be called Raxla. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's uh, another good one. Yeah. You know. I'm hoping for a big neon splashing sign, actually. Yeah. Rex is here. Well. We've discovered it. 
Well, the other, the other discussion we had the other day, Powers, was um, that, you know, the Dark Wheel uh, are, are these people who, you know, go out and explore all sorts of myths and legends around Elite and everything. And and the, the word Dark Wheel would seem to suggest something like a, a black hole, maybe, or something like that. So, mm. you know, who, who knows, you know. We Some... found three black holes on, at one of the stars. Yeah, that was really cool, because like, I haven't had much experience looking at black holes, but that was just weird, that was... I've so, only seen a couple, but... Three I've of them. Seen three yeah. Against each other. yeah, that was pretty good. But two of them were about one light second away from each other. Fuel scooping complete. Hey, Agban. Hey, Steve. Good to see you in the stream. Well, uh, we're hunting the uh, the Capricorn um, constellation. Looking for the unicorn Raxler. <laughs> Frameship drive charging. Absolutely, the space unicorn. Or is that DJ Truesayer, isn't it? Is that his commander name? No, they, that's what they affectionately refer to him as, because he, he lost a bet where he had to wear a unicorn onesie. So there's been this on-running... Um, <laughs> there's been this on-running um, joke about him being the space unicorn. Um, they even did a song about it. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Turgeon should look him up and meet him out in space in one of his episodes. <laughs> Fuel scooping complete. Discuss the finding the space unicorn. <laughs> okay, I'm not that far away from you now, mate. So. All right, I'll recall my ship. So I'll be ready to go when you get here. Yes. Steve says hello. Hey, Steve. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fuel scooping. Fuel scooping complete. Oh, uh, I good point, Kathina. I, I don't know. Is the answer? What was her question? Just curious. Um, it, she says, it strikes me as weird that it, we would show up as being called Raxler. Maybe that's just a name given to it. Uh, what we call the sun, Elite calls Sol. Um, you see would have to call it Raxler and had proof, you know, for it to show up as that. It's a right. good point. And the uh, founder of the world is Shinra of Desert. Yeah. You think Raxler is a generation ship? Well, that would that would explain the reason why it's moving. It would be a generation ship created by guardians, maybe. Uh, well, the guardians had generation ships, but what they did is they launched their generation ships into space, uh, and then, like halfway through their journey back on the planet, they discovered hyperspace technology. And they, they radioed ahead to them and said, Hey guys, we've just discovered this new drive. And on the generation ship, they built the new drive, installed it, and, when they're and that's how they're able to expand so quickly. <laughs> so unlike our generation ships, which a lot of them went missing, we don't know what happened to them. Um, you can go and visit them in-game, um, but a lot went and disappeared, you know. Eggplant, Eggplant, what do you mean the order of N blank? Blankenment. Fuel scooping. I don't understand what you mean, eggplant. Fuel scoop disengaged. Okay. 
So I'm here in system, my friend. All right, me too. Um, <laughs> so have we sc you scanned this place because it's fully scanned. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you know what? Uh, everything that wasn't scanned now shows. Check out your first discovered by. Oh, really? Yeah, it shows you. Oh, awesome. Is that because I went and did the lave thing? Oh, look, Baron Von Zumski. Yeah. There you go. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 That's cool. <laughs> I've still yet to see any that uh, I've scanned to go back to them. Hey Chris, you've been to Raxla, it's not all it's cracked up to be. Kind of like finally getting your permit for Sol and being like, uh, what's next? <laughs> yeah, I'm expecting it to be something like that. Too. <laughs> okay, have we been to... Tell... Okay, let me get my spreadsheet up. I don't have my line now from where we previously traveled, so tell me where I haven't been. Ah... Pretty sure I know. I just want to check. So, Chris, Eggman, everybody else, um, a, a long time ago, uh, Powers and Steve had a chat, and one of the things that um, Steve came up with uh, is that uh, there might be a link to Raxler in numerology. And when you type Raxler's name into numerology sites, um, they come up with. Um, links and connections to the Capricorn um, part of the Zodiac. And of course, there is a Capricorn constellation. So Powers and I are now literally exploring the stars that make up the Capricorn um, constellation. That's why this is called the Goatfish Expedition. And it's the first time that Powers and I have actually gone looking for Axel. All right, I've got the next destination. Okay. Hip number 102978. 102978. That's miles away. It is. <laughs> Omega yeah. Cap getting, Capricorna. Yeah. Getting further away. Okay. Right, I need to fuel up as well at some point. Okay, that's all good. Right, well, let's do this. All right. Frameshift drive charging. So you've not been out here, Steve, no? Oh, well, that's good then. At least we, we're, we're ticking off the box then for both of us, yeah? For me, you, and Powers, yeah? Seven jumps. Really? Fuel How many I've got? So look, eight. There we go. A little bit of scanning, a bit of fuel scooping. There we go. So I, I changed my paint job from Saturday. Oh yeah. At, early on in the when we landed at one of those stations. Or one of the systems, I don't remember which one. And uh, it's harder to read what's on my hull at the moment, but when we get to the last system, you come over and if you get the light right, you might find something. Ooh, okay. We can, we can make a claim then. Two objects. Wow. It's in this system. Let's have a look. God, it's nothing been discovered in these places. We are right out in the middle of nowhere here. Look at I this. think this area is probably not traveled much. Yeah. Well, that can only be a good thing because it means that you know it's not been found. So. Yeah. 
Okay, I got it. My fuel scoop might be turned off. And it is because I didn't turn off my planetary vehicle hanger. <laughs> okay. So in that system, everything I had scanned has your name on it now too, which is fine by me. Well, why, why is it? We scanned it together, didn't we? We did. I think it has to do with first person turning it in. Oh, I think it, you know, oh, I'm sorry, mate. Did, I think they didn't take into account uh, wing exploration. <laughs> well, if you don't, if you hand it in, do you not get your name against it too? I've scanned plenty. Right. If I come back out, I'll get more anyway. So. Okay. I just wait to go and help leave. Yeah, this whole system's not discovered. To Missy Prime. <laughs> oh, what a name! <laughs> Up to Missy Prime. I like it. <laughs> Let's roll out. How many jumps away are you? About four. Okay. I'm about the same. Jess! Um, hey Jess, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Hey Jess. Four, this three, is Powers. Two, <laughs> We're searching for Raxler, Jess. You know, not because we want to be rich or anything, just so we got bragging rights, you know? <laughs> I wouldn't mind if they made us rich, that'd be pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, we're pretty good. Yeah, we're pretty smart. We'd have Feel to like, you know. what it with Steve. We just have to say, like, you know, when you say your name, Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm uh, I'm Commander Baron Von Zumski. <clears throat> Finder of Raxler. <clears throat> Ah, uh, yeah, you know, just start. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm Commander Powers. <clears throat> Finder of Bra Raxler. <clears throat> yeah. That's right. Or you just, you wouldn't even say fight, just go Raxler. <clears throat> uh, <yeah>. Stop to. <laughs> it could be right under our noses, Jess. You're right, it could. Whatever you do, don't sneeze. <laughs> That's uh, good advice if it's right under our nose. Fuel 
Fuel scooping. Fuel scoop disengaged. Frame shift drive charging. Very deep in an area without scoopable stars. Maybe, maybe. You know? It could be at that uh, Saturn Nebula. Yeah. Chris says he might be permit locked. Maybe. Oh, something that's been um, mentioned before, actually, Chris, is, is there's a place called Polaris um, that is near Lave and Leasty and all that. Um, and a lot of people have mentioned that that could be a possible site for um, Raxler. It's got some stuff to do with Thargoids, so maybe we don't know, you know. Okay, OT, OT, uh, OT, 18 Omega Capricorni, here we go. We're in the same system right now. Are we? <laughs> yeah, I see you on my map. Oh yeah, I can see I'm you. behind you, yeah. That's funny. What are the chances? Fancy meeting you here. Four, three, two, one, engage. There's, oh, there's theories left, right, and center. Wow, that is a big motherfucking star. <laughs> okay, let's scan that. That makes sense. It's not a lot of, um, you know... I, I don't have it yet, Jess, but I will. <laughs> I don't have that permit yet, but I will. Okay, so there's three planets in here, and any one of them could be... No, this, this is a Rax. Okay, <laughs> let's be They've already been scanned by yeah, Gribs. Yeah, too. yeah. If we see Gribs on some of the later ones, he may have oh, yeah. a constellation. I've seen him consistently. All right, let's go and... Let's go and... Uh... Ready for the next? Uh, are we well, are we going to scan you these planets? Them. They're only about what a thousand light years away. It's, it's sure, a quick job. Like, it's a, really, do I have to travel a thousand light years? I'll what go to the, the last one. What the fuck, Zoomski? <laughs> <laughs> you make me work. We've gone out as far as about 2,500,000 light seconds to scan stuff on this trip. We have, yes. A couple, couple times. There's been, there's been some that have been absolutely ludicrous, haven't they? Like 50 light oh. years out, yeah? That's... Yeah, we had some I don't even... several million light seconds. Yeah. What, what is going on there? And someone had scanned them. Yeah. That, that was impressive. I think it was DD. So it takes a, about an hour and a half to um, get to about just over two mil, two and a half million, yeah, which is what um, Hun orbital is. Um, so yeah, two three hours in supercruise that maybe a little less because you speed up, don't you? But the problem is halfway there you start you start slowing down. True. So max, there's a max limit. Yeah. Yeah. What is the max limit? It's about two thousand two, is it? Something like that. Uh, I thought it was like a thousand. What's it? All right. Nine 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 for speed on it. But maybe it's not. Maybe it's higher now. I think you may reach it on the trip to that level, but maybe not. It's been a long time since I've been out to Noble. So there were two planets back here, right next to each other. I got them both. Okay, sweet. I'm just doing this one now. And uh, double check the system map. Doesn't look. Hey, two of the planets are spinning. Wait, wait. All three are in the system. Ooh. Map. Fancy. This is the first time. Okay, give us the next place. <clears throat> I'm right. ready when you are. I'm gonna have to. Okay, good. That's the one we came from. 
There's only three more. Three more, and then we're done, and the goat fish. We can start heading back to uh, the bubble. Okay. Seven Sigma is hip number 100195. Nine five. Oh, it's a little one. This is far away. I think most of these are going to be two to three. Yeah, maybe. look at that. It's a fair distance. How many jumps? Uh, awesome. yeah, about nine. So it's all good. So Chris says, uh, I believe they are yet to put it in the game. Um, sort of in development, under construction, maybe, mean the code for it is there, just some real reasons to have the content yet. Uh, or the content is under development due to being put on the back burner. Their focus is on more important things, just speculation, of course. I would be inclined to agree with you, Chris, if it were not for the fact that people from FDev keep saying it's in the game. So we've had two. We've had one report from Drew Wagner that Braben himself said it's in the game. Um... And we've had Michael Brooks, who was the guy who was in charge of the lore and the story um, for the game, turn around and go, it is in the solar system. Sorry, it is in the Milky Way. Well, solar system would have really... Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so we know it's in the game. They've, they've told us it's in the game. Yeah, And if you watched the live stream the other day, we came very, 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 very close um, to knowing a little bit closer where it might be because they asked one of the guys to blink twice if it was in the um, in the uh, in the, the bubble and he almost did. He almost went and showed us and then he shied away and went, no, no, I can't tell you, I can't tell you. <laughs> I, I don't know if it was part of the crowdfunding. I, I have no idea. And Chris, uh, I've heard that. I've heard that tale too. But I've never seen it um, backed up with any evidence. I've never seen the actual forum post that suggested that Commander jumped into the system where it was, honked, and then just jumped out. Um, it, although that's possible. It, though it is very possible. If it's in the bubble, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. Yeah, and something we said earlier, if it is passing through systems that are well known like Lave, how many people honk and scan and check the scan in Lave? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Already known. Fuel scooping. Frame shift drive charging. I mean I'm I am i am not gonna dance around this too much, guys, yeah, but I mean this at the end of the day. What this comes down to is what what powers and I are searching for here has been in the game from the start, and nobody's found it yet. So people have been searching for this since 2015. And they've not found it yet. So I'm not getting my hopes up. Maybe but the same system again. Yeah. Hey. Um, but I am trying to make sure that we tick off the theories as we go through them. And this is one of the theories. And, and this is what we're doing. We're actually going out there and looking. Um, it won't be the only one. I've got some other expeditions I want to do. Um, and if people want to be a part of those, they're more than, more than welcome to come along. Chris, you're right, according to the law, it should only be within a few hundred light years. Um, so yeah. we think that it was we think it we, it was discovered maybe brrr, in the twenty two thousand eight hundreds, maybe two thousand nine hundreds, maybe even before then. Um, because the Dark Wheel, the book that goes on about it, it is in about the year three thousand. So 
you know, and the drives they had back then were fairly um, basic, and like Powers just said, they had about about a seven to maybe nine light year jump range on them, um, and they didn't have super crews. That's something else that should be said as well. So I actually have a copy of the original Dark Wheel from the eighties. Well, like hard hardback. It's like sorry, um, hard copy, no, like not hardback. The oh, I, paper copy. That came yes. The game. I, oh, really? Wow, that's yeah. cool. That's really and cool. The box and the five and a half inch floppy disk for Apple Two C. No way. That's why my commander name is Powers Two C. Oh, I see. Right. Reference to the Apple Two C. Not that anyone would get that without me explaining it. <laughs> Fuel scooping complete. Well, my handle of video games has always been Zoom, and then uh, I played. Um, Eve Online, and I called myself Baron Von Zoomski, and I just moved it across to Elite, so that's why my name's Baron Von Zoomski. It works. I was going to ask you what your first name is, but you uh, don't have to. Ah, yeah, that's really good! I like that, because of course Baron is the title. So, do you know what? I, I am not going to come up with the first name. I am not going to come up with the first name for the Baron Von Zoomski. I'm going to let you guys come up with the first name for Baron Von Zoomski. So if you, we're going to do this. If you, if you think that you've got a, a really cool name for Baron von Zumski, get on my Discord. The link's in the description of the video, and send me. Post up. I'll make a special chat channel just for it. Yeah, <laughs> the name for Baron von Zumski. Yeah, Baron von Zumski's first name. Okay, guys. Yeah. No, I don't want it in chat, Chris. You've got to send it to my Discord. Yeah. Zipper Zoomski. <laughs> eh? Nigel, that's not very good. <laughs> I'll make a special chat. Yeah, I'll do it now. I'll go into I'll go into Discord and make a special chat just for it. Yeah. Oh, um, Magpie Mafia. No, no, I'm going to do it in uh, on mine. Yeah. Oh, I don't think I'm in yours. Uh, it's okay. It's all good. The, the link's there, but okay. I'll send it to you. It's all good. Um, so, text channels. What's my name, bro? There we go. There we go. I've created a special text channel in my... Um, In my uh, in my Discord, in the Baron von Zumski Discord, um, you can see the description of it in my uh, in in this video. Get yourself over there, post up a name, and then maybe in a in a week or two we'll we'll choose one and uh, make that a what you call it, you know. <laughs> That's a good one, actually, Powers. I like that. But we will, we will discuss it. We'll discuss it. There you go. It's open to you guys now. Yeah. Bad reference. Yeah. So we're gonna leave it about a week. All right. And I'll talk about it again in my streams, and uh, and people can get on that Discord and post up. And whoever wins, yeah. Whoever wins, I'll, I'll name a ship after them. Yeah. How's that? <laughs> cool. Right. Okay, Is I think we're here. Jump? Yeah, there we go. All right, I'm, I'm jumping into the system. Big star, dun dun dun. Cribs. 
I think he's done the constellation. Has he really? He's been pretty consistent. He hasn't been first discovery on every star in the constellation, but out here, the last two, I think it was Gribbs. He's left a few for us at the end. Wow. All the, all the moons. That's a lot here. of planets here, isn't there? Wow. Yeah, we got some work to do now. Okay, right. Am I heading out to the end then? Is it my turn? Uh, if you want to, I don't mind doing it though. Yeah, I'm out. I'm doing it. I'm gone. Later. You're doing it? Okay. Yeah. I'll start on the inside. Oh, that's weird. What's I that? Discovered by disappeared. I can't tell what's not discovered yet. It's been doing that to me. Uh, we're on PC, Chris. Uh, Eggplant, you didn't realize you could see the constellations from so You can! Yeah, and I didn't know that, but powers showed me that, didn't you, powers? How you can go to Sol and look around and you can actually see the constellations. Yeah, you should show that at some point. Yeah, do you know what? That's a good uh, idea. We'll slow time. down. We'll slow down. And let's actually show you that, because that is pretty cool. So if you go in here, guys, and you type Sol, it goes all the way over to where we are now. It's all there we go. Right, okay. And then if we actually zoom in to Sol. Why is it not doing that? Well, there you go. There, look. There's the constellations. Isn't that cool? It only took me about two years of playing the game to figure that out. I'm sure others have found it before that. <laughs> I think that's amazing. I really do. I love how they've done that. I really do. Fantastic. So did you bring up Capricorn? Uh, oh, uh, that's a good point. Which one is Capricorn? Capricorn's the one with the... Oh, it's that one, isn't it? The one with the big it's kind of head. Yeah, like, yeah, that's it. Yeah, there we go. That's all good. Yeah, but that stuff happens, Jess. Look at Jack Station. Yeah? So everybody lost contact with Jack Station, and the whole thing was, oh, where's Jack Station? And we're all going to go out there and find it. And they actually had, like, a whole series of clues to lead you out there. And um, then some guy found it by accident, just exploring. <laughs>
Come on. Now, in case anybody wants a direct link to that, um, there you go. To that Discord, where you can put that name up, name Baron von Zoomski. I like that. Come on, scan. God, some of these scans take painful time, don't they? Do you think they're not consistent? Oh, not at all. No, I don't think they are. I think it depends entirely on the body that you're scanning, doesn't it? No, 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 I'll pick Jess. I will pick the one that I feel um, is the best one. Simple as that, Jess. Yeah. But remember, he, he comes from uh, he comes from the the Empire. He comes from a, a place called Liar Bees. Um, and you know, I don't mind the name having some significance too. So if you can come up with a really cool name that has some significance, you know, that would be pretty pretty smart too. And whoever wins, I will literally name my next ship after them. So if you won it, Jess, I'd probably call it the Garcia. Or even Jess. <laughs> so your next ship would be the, the new... One of the new ships coming out this week? It probably would be, yes. So, um, either the Challenger or the Crate, which unofficially is coming out, but isn't coming out officially, but might be unofficially, but we don't know. <laughs> right. Could be something else. That would be... No, exciting. it's the Crate. It's definitely the Crate. Did you see Samarco in the live stream? He actually turned around right. and said, Oh, look at that. That's Crate. <laughs> The Garcia, I like that, yeah, I like that, Jess. Coffee time. Oh, thanks, mate. Yeah, milk, please, no sugar. <laughs> you take care, Jess. Uh, I don't know. I, th I think, in all honesty, Steve, I think it's going to be uh, a place where you can get all, like, really cool commodities and stuff for cheap. You know? We'll have a portal that dumps you into another universe where there's nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because they've not made it yet. Yeah. You can get back until you discover their Raxla. <laughs> <laughs> It'll drop you off at the Saturn Nebula. Absolutely. <laughs> I think you can type in Saturn Nebula in the galaxy map and get it. Yeah. 
Here we go. You know how ring systems usually align with the orbits? Yeah. I'm looking at two ring systems that I can see in, in one screen. Wow. And they're almost 90 degrees offset from each other. Wow. That's... Should be unusual. <laughs> Okay. Do well, eh, mate? Yeah, I think that would be neat. Steve, an extra ship. That would be cool. Yeah, it would be good. So if you just joined the stream, uh, you've not said hello already, please come and say hello. We won't bite. Well, not too much anyway. Uh, <laughs> we are uh, actively searching for Raxler at this moment in time. We are following the star constellation. The stars that make up the constellation Capricorn. Uh, hence why it's called the Goatfish Expedition. We're goatfish expeditionists. <laughs> GFE, yeah, you know me. What would you actually do if you found it? Take a picture. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think we're onto the same. Are we? Heading to the same planet now, possibly. Yeah, I believe so. Everything further out looks scanned already. Yeah. We're going to number six. Let's get these done and then uh, we'll have a look at the system map and then move on to the next place. We should probably scour the surface of every landable planet. No. <laughs> this will be a long expedition. Steve says he'd make a story stream out of it. Do you it's stream, good, uh, Steve? Because I've not, I've been on your channel. I've not seen. Have you actually done videos on there?
Oh, thanks, mate. Skin in the same one, I think. Oh, wait. Oh, okay, I'll leave him off. What I wanted at. <laughs> He's going to do it with another streamer, Steve. Which stream is that? Do I know them? Oh, bits of water. It's very good. Oh, Ricardo, he's okay, Ricardo. I like his streams. Is he not interested in uh, Raxler? Okay, there we go. I think we've scanned them all. Right, none of these say Raxler on them, mate, so I'm fairly certain we've not found it. Ready for the next? Uh, Let's yes, sir. Next. Yeah, I am ready. Let's do this. All right. The hip number is one zero one nine two three nine two three. Off we go. Tau Capricorni. Yep. Okay. Compliance. Shift drive charging. Four, three, two, one. Oh, chance down there. Um, you know what? I, I asked a lot of streamers, Steve, what the advice was for somebody who'd only just started out streaming. Um, and they gave me a few pieces of advice. And I'll, I'll tell you the same advice they gave me, including Yamix, by the way. Yamix gave me this advice as well. Um, so the first advice that I got was, was stream often. Try to stream at least once or twice a week at least yeah which is about the only chance i get if truth be told because i have other things going on in my life um so i try to stream at least once a week uh, if not two times uh, if i can i do more um the second piece of advice is understand the difference between content and streaming because there is a difference between the two 
So content is stuff that you produce um, and then upload to YouTube and people watch it and you get your subscriptions and your um, likes based upon the content that you create. Yeah. And then you've got streaming and streaming is what we're doing now and it's all about the interaction with the person. So if you're streaming, interact with your chat, talk to the people that are talking to you, that are coming on there. Yeah. That's what streaming is all about. That's the strength of streaming is that, that you're able to have a conversation with with you guys, you know, about what it is that you're doing in game. Um, so, yeah. Um, and then, uh, I mean, the, probably the third of the best advice that I got was have fun. If you're not having fun doing what you're doing on the stream, it shows. It comes through. You know, people, oh, he can't be asked. you know, why, why should I be bothered watching his stream? Because he can't be bothered, you know. So have fun, enjoy what you're doing, yeah? And and I think that's something that uh, certainly I believe in. I try and be, I try to enjoy everything I'm doing, don't I, Powers? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. But, um, yeah. If you're not passionate about what you're streaming, what's the point you stream in the first place, you know? Yeah, and I think if we if we don't have fun while we're looking for Raxla, when we finally figure out what Raxla is, or where it is, or when yeah. it is, it'll be really disappointing. Bob! Bob, it's good to see you on the stream. Sorry, Powers. I was saying hello to That's Bob okay. there. Hey, Bob. <laughs> Go on, mate. Oh, uh, yeah, I just, I think there'll be a lot of disappointed players when they when we find out what Raxley is or where it is. Yeah, I'm sure, mate, I'm sure. Vlad! Not. Vlad's here as well. Wow, all the old people are coming back. Hey, Vlad, good to see you. Alright, another giant star. Yeah. Gribs. He's been here. I see. <laughs> yeah. So I guess I guess he's been right through this area. This Gribbs is a, is an expert explorer, isn't he? I think he did the constellation like we're doing. And we'll know for sure if. Uh, well, he's not because some places we've been to have not been explored. So you know. No, I, I think uh, all the main stars have been. All oh, right. Okay. Of the constellation. And I've seen Gribbs now in the last three, I think. So if he's at Castro, yeah, he has, he has, uh, the last star. Scanned a lot of this, hasn't he? It's very interesting. Wow. Okay, we're gonna scan all these, yeah. Um, sure. At least. What's the distance? Okay. So that far, do you want me to do, go out and do the four thousand ones? Yeah. Sure. If you want? I'll head to the. Landable planet. Yeah. yeah. Well, I guess I'll work my way out on, along the first strand. Okay, cool. If you want. Or it's my turn to go out. I could go out to the others. No, it's good. I'm on my way. Okay. Uh, Steve says, I guess it would be story content like Turgeon. Uh, get some advice from him, a Scorpius, Plater, and Proxim. Okay, so Plater and Proxim, um, they don't do. Oh, actually, I tell I play it does do content because he does his news real stuff, doesn't he? And he does some uh, guide videos, so yes, he does. Um, but they don't, I don't think they do. I, I think Ascorbius does. I don't know if Pro does Proxim do content videos? Does he do story videos like Turgeon does? I don't know. If not, he may have been on some of their uh, videos. Oh, that's possibly true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Uh, Vlad, what are we doing? Vlad, we are searching for Raxler. That's what we're doing. So, um, but Bob, where did you hear that? Because I've heard that on more than one occasion, and every time I've heard it, it's not been backed up by where it came from or anything like that. So I'm thinking this is a rumor that's going around for a while. And I don't know where it comes from. 
But uh, what we're doing is we're following the stars on the dev stream. Really? What like on on the on the on the F dev stream, the live streams they do, Bob. Oh, really? Which one? Oh, the last one that was on. They said it on there. Right. Okay, now I need to watch this now, because if they've said it, um, then, yeah, um, that's interesting. That would be. Oh. It's a bit too vague. Well, you know, we had we had this discussion, didn't we, Powers, about Easter eggs? Yeah? Yeah. And the definition of an Easter egg. So I'll, I'll open it up to you guys on the stream, yeah, on the chat. What do you guys think an Easter egg means? What do you think it actually means in the game? Because Powers had one interpretation, and I had an interpretation of what an Easter egg is. So I actually had both ideas. Yeah. And I was actually leaning towards your definition. Yeah, let's see what let's see what the chat says. Cause I'll be mostly interested to see what, what they wanna you know, what they think. Yeah, mostly because Easter. they said it's there's a lot of them also, I think. Yeah, yeah. Well the, the, yeah, in my opinion there is there's a, there's an awful lot of them. I wouldn't say I know all yeah. of them, but I know quite a few. Um no. Do you think that really, Steve? Do you think that's a an Easter egg? So Steve says surprises like Mick Turner isn't dead and his ship is out there somewhere. Really? I don't. I don't think I agree with that. That's not my interpretation of what an Easter egg. It's interesting because now we're getting. That's you see. That's a that's a third one. A third interpretation, which. Um, I've never heard it's of. It's a storyline. Yeah, it's a storyline Easter egg. Yeah. Yeah, that would be interesting. That'd be yes, really cool. That, well, you, Kythena, that's it. That's what I thought it was. I think it's references to other, other um, geek and popular culture. Yeah? So it's references to movies, it's references to... Uh, games is references to just geek culture full stop yeah uh, what was yours what did you originally think powers you thought it was um uh, oh it, you thought it was things like um hidden key combinations and things like that wasn't it that was that was what you said didn't you potentially or you fly yeah. into some certain system yeah. in a certain ship and yeah something different happens yeah more of something a, a developer would put in it's for humor. Yeah, I think Kathleen is right. That's your concept. Yeah. References to other games or videos. Yeah. Or... Hey, other guy. Good to see you. And I was thinking more along the lines of Steve. 
like storyline surprises story or something yeah. actually functional in game that changes yeah based on certain interaction you know you fly to hit an orbital in a hauler and it turns into an anaconda and you get a free anaconda at an orbital you know that would be an <laughs> easter egg yeah <laughs> Okay, I think we scanned anything of importance here now, mate. I think so, so let's have a look at the system map. I don't see racks there anywhere. All yeah. Right. It's a kind of surprise, Bob. <laughs> Okay. You ready? I'm ready. This is the last star. Oh, this is it. This is the last one. It's about a... I guess it's over a thousand light years away from Shinroda. Uh, this is HIP 106723. Wow. Wow. And this is a star called Castra. Okay. Let's make our way out to Castra. Uh, you think Turner's class ship are in the game and AAAI is in Polaris. No, AAAI is on a planet, Steve. I've visited it. I've been to the uh, the planet where it's on. Um, it's in Alioth, isn't it? AAAI? Tell us, tell us more about AAAI. I don't remember. Okay, okay, right. So, um, AAI is uh, what does it stand for? Argent. Oh, I'll have to look it up. Wait, AAI Elite Dangerous. Let's have a look. There you go. Uh, Argent Aerodynamics Amalgamated Inc. Okay, um, and this is uh, a company that produced the super duper duper. Um, uh, FSD drive that went into Mick Turner's ship and later um, Argent's ship. So Argent is um, his other half and Mick Turner went off looking for the Thargoid homeworld um, according to the law and disappeared and uh, he went off in a, in a ship called um, Turner's Quest and um, when they lost him they made another ship called Argent's Quest, um, and they, they went off um, looking for him. And, and that's the whole story of how a Thargoid ship came back to the Alliance and yakka yada 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 yakka yada 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 but, but AAI um, is actually in um, Alioth. It's actually on a planet in Alioth. It's, it's in the lore as being based on a, on a um, atmospheric planet. Um, no, there's no faction. No, there's no faction. Well, I think that they don't let you faction up very much in the Alliance. You don't get many many Alliance factions of any real lore importance that you can actually be a part of. Um, so, yeah, you know. Here we go. Frameshift drive charging. And yes, Mick Turner is the great grandfather of Bill Turner. Four, three, two, one, engage. Oh, thanks, Vlad. Um, if you go into the um, About Me part of my channel, um, in the description, it actually has. The, the HUD numbers, if you want to change your HUD to the same color that mine is. Um, so, uh, we got it from Mordo. Is Mordo still in the channel? Or has he dropped out? I don't think he's dropped out. So, yeah, Mordo gave us these colors. Frame shift drive charging. Frame shift. Uh, were those the Magpie Mafia colors? Yes, yeah. I think Mem's online. Is he? Is he not talking to us, or is he playing World of Warships? He's been wrestling. Like he's, yeah, he's, 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 he's been wrestling. wrestling. He's been wrestling with that for the last few days. I think he gave up Saturday. Did he? 
All right, poor guy. Absolutely, yeah. T take those numbers, and you, you know what to do, don't you, Vlad? Yeah. It's a fairly straightforward process to do it. Fuel scoop disengaged. Frame shift drive charging. What I liked about it is that it still keeps things that are supposed to be red, red, and it still keeps things that are supposed to be blue, blue. What are you doing, mate? I'm three jumps away. Fuel scooping. Um, two. Two jumps. I'm checking each system. Fuel scoop disengaged. Ooh. Unexplored. <laughs> Ooh, unexplored. I'll have that. <laughs> Yeah, just the star. Actually, you might get it. We'll put your name on it. Yeah, sure. You're, you're more you're more well known than I am, so. I would say well known, notorious, mm -hmm. maybe. <laughs> infamy, infamy. They've all got it in for me. Trevor, good child. Two, Scan this system. One, Sounds like an empire name. Trevor. Good child. Oh, good child sounds like an imperial name. Actually, no, it doesn't. It sounds more like a federation name. Yeah. I don't even know how we would argue that point. So, <laughs> you, you, all you're going to remember is powers the the federation uh, is America. Jesus, look at the size of that star. Good God. I think that's the biggest star we've come big. up against, haven't we? It should be. It's the furthest away, and you can see it. Yeah. Eye from here, so. That is massive. There we go. It's been scanned. Post human. And Gribs has been out here too. So it's not it's not a lot out here, is there? Yeah, not too much. Oh actually, do you know what? I've just scanned oh. I'm, I'm in the wrong bloody place. Ah. Wait there. Are you right. Not the right spot yet. No, I'm not even so I just saw this huge star and assumed that it was the one. Good okay, God. I just got here and um, I think there's a section we're not gonna go to. Really? Oh dear. Four and a half million light seconds away. No way! Oh, painful. Yeah. painful. Trevor Goodchild made the journey. We'll, we'll leave that to him. Alright, okay. Well, if he's been there, that's good then, because he's not found racks or any, so. Alright. Yeah, so we could scan the, the local charging. moons and planets on the main star. The secondary star is even bigger than the main star. Uh, okay. They're both huge. Four, three, two, one. <laughs> Kai Fina says, To be fair though, Americans come up with the weirdest names in the world. So technically, Wallpaper Death Whistle could be a Federation name. <laughs> 
For, so know. wallpaper death whistle is a cracky name for a commander. <laughs> wow. Okay. Here we go. I'm not sure if there are American last names or if they'd be Indian last names potentially. Oh, that's a good point. Almost yeah, everybody's an immigrant from Europe or uh, somewhere else. And my last name's Irish. Ah. It's a lovely place, Ireland. And the whole time we lived over there, I, I never went to Ireland. Really? Never, yeah, we visited Wales, Scotland, down into Europe some, but never jumped a ferry to Ireland. Oh my god, that is miles away, isn't it? Jesus. So I'm headed out to Castra A2. Okay, cool. Right, I'll I'll hit this one here. It will both end up at A2 pretty quick though. There's not much. Uh, I've not looked at the Steam sales, Vlad. Is there anything good there? I think there's a lot on sale right now. They have their summer sale going on. Oh, they're having their summer sale. Oh, I like it when they do the bundles in that. That's really cool. Like, oh, you get all the Command and Conquer for like ten dollars. You know, <laughs> I love it when they do that stuff. I'll have to go and check it out. Bernard's loop looks further away. Oh, doc I'm sorry, Dr. Stinktickler? My god, what a name. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, Tickler. I'm sorry I didn't see you. I've, I have got Restream up. I wonder why I didn't come up on there. I'll have to check that. Oh, I think that's true. I think it doesn't let you chat unless you have a channel. No, Tickler was on Twitch. Now, I got Restream, so it should have come up on there. Unless I was looking away, because if the chat channel goes up, I might, I might miss it. So I apologize if that happened, Tickler. Yeah, well, it depends. I mean, the, the, the confusion here is eggplant that there's two or three different ways of doing it. Um, so, you know. Oh, we're looking for Raxler, Tickler. That's what we're doing. So, um, if, if you put Raxler into one of the numerology uh, websites, um, it comes up with information um, about what the word, the actual letters mean, numerology, numerologically speaking. Um, and it refers to um, Capricorn um, as being uh, the sign most associated with that numerological information. And that is why we are following uh, the stars that make up the constellation of Capricorn. So we're searching for Raxler. Uh, and the reason behind we think that it might be here, although we haven't found it, if truth be, found, truth be told, um, is because Robert Holdstock was, was a bit of a new age type of guy, and he's the guy who came up with the concept of um, Raxler. So, yeah. That's why we're out here. Oh my god, Bird's here! Hey, Bird! You, you've already discovered Raxler. Oh, Bird's already found Raxler, mate. I don't even know why we're bothered looking. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Take that you don't know what Raxler is? Wow. Okay, so. 
Uh, in the uh, Elite game, um, uh, I, I think was it Elite Two or was it original Elite? I can't remember. Um, so in in Elite Two, they they brought out the game, and with the game, they brought out a book. Um, uh, I'm it was good. The original one. Yeah, it was the original one. Okay, right, good, good. Um, so in this in this game, they brought out a book with it to go with it that, that told you a little bit of the lore of the game, um, and um, in this book um, was uh, a story about something called the Dark Wheel, and the Dark Wheel um, he, uh, are searching for something called um, Raxler. And it's like a myth, a mythical planet, um, where there's supposed to be untold riches and all sorts of other things, you know, um, and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. Um, if you want to read the book, there it is. Go and have a look. Um, there's a link to it. Um There you go. So, um, yeah, so Raxler is like um, uh, 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 something that is in the game. Uh, Frontier have said it's in the game, but nobody has found it yet. So we're looking for it. We're trying to find it. And we've, we've got a couple of, we've got two or three ideas of where it might be. And we're basically exploring one of those ideas right now. That's what we're doing. Um, so, uh, fortunately, Raxler is one of those things where you have to go away from the game and do some research um, to find out possibly where it is and what's going on with it. Oh my god, they really are far away. I don't think we're going to those, do you? Bird, we're perfectly fine. Thanks very much. We're we're following um, the stars that make up. Um, uh, yes, it's exactly like El Dorado. It, it has been described as being um, elite El Dorado. It really is. So that is what we're searching for. Um, you're not the only one, Steve. I've done a lot of research myself. Just noticed in the navigation panel the stuff that's four and a half thousand light seconds away is 0.15 light years. That's how it shows up. Wow. That's nuts. That's crazy. Okay, so um, are we going to go and land on a planet then? I'm um, sure. I've got one more to scan, I think. Uh, maybe a... I'm seeing some other stuff unscanned. Okay. But it uh, might be. They're just what you call it. Yeah, they're just belts. Yeah. Okay. Pick a planet, and we'll go on. Uh, we'll go and land, and uh, we can have a look at your ship and see what it says on it. Okay, let's go to the the last planet, the planet with the rings that we can land on. Oh, cool. Which one's that? I'm actually scanning it right now. Uh, um, A2, A2G. A2G. Okay, we're on that. Okay, here we go. Sunny side up. The belt system looks like a nice pattern for a tie. <laughs> um, in particular, in the lore of the game, um, it is suggested that Raxla has a station around it. Um, but that's unconfirmed. So I, d I don't know yet, particularly because we ain't found it. We've got some theories as to what it might be, um, but yeah, you know. Other guy, I don't know. The Dark Wheel is supposed to have found it at one point and then lost it. How do you lose a planet?
They had it written down, and then there was a fire. <laughs> they had it written down. <laughs> well, I've not got a pen, so I've arranged these leaves <laughs> to make up the location. Whatever you do, don't open the window. Boy, yeah. it sure is warm in here. <laughs> Eggplant, that is something we've been talking about, is whether or not it's a rogue planet. I turned on my wing beacon. You should be able to... Aye, aye. Fly to me on the surface. Uh, particularly, we actually have quite a few clues. You know? Uh, Bird's gonna be already there. Bird's already sat there with his deck chair, yeah, sipping martinis and waiting for us. <laughs> Steve says the club erased their memories and computers. Enter stage left, MIB. <laughs> that would do it. So, particularly, yeah, there is a lot of clues. But it's one of those where you have to know your law. You have to have read the books. You have to have looked up the information. And the problem with Elite is you don't know what's a f what's being used and what's not. So <clears throat> the information I go off tends to be stuff that's in the game. And that there is stuff that's happened in the game to do with Raxler. Um, but it's just not a lot of information as to what's going on. You have to get the light just right to read my ship. Cool. <laughs> I shouldn't have changed. Uh, Steve, I don't agree with you. Not now. Um, a really good place to start is the forum. The forum has a 180 post thread, so 180 page thread about searching for Raxler. And you can actually learn an awful lot off it that normally you'd, you'd spend a lot of time reading books and stuff. Oh wow, this place has got rings, cool. Alright, where are you? Oh, there you are, okay. Engaged. A strategic repositioning maneuver? What do you mean? Did I... I didn't do a... Did I do a watch call it? A loop of shame? So it's got to the point where I may have done so many that I didn't even notice I was doing a loop of the shame. It's more a sort of loop of ing ign ignorance. A, a loop of indifference.
<laughs> Are you sat on the top of your shit? <laughs> yeah. That's funny. So if you go around to the um All oh, right, okay, wait on, let me go up with a bit. The other side and of the I'll, uh, I'll literally just with a bowling ball go over the top of you. Logo is. There we go. And uh have a look. What if we got? And then go down go down lower to the planet. Yeah, I'm side. doing I am doing. And in the background X marks the spot, I think where Rex is. I think we found it. Let's uh go a little further this. left. Wait out, wait out, we're gonna actually get out and use our camera. Wait now. Okay. So we're gonna land this thing first. Landing gear deployed. There we go. Alright. Let's have a look. What am I looking for? So, I look up at the background. See the X? What? What? In in the sky. It's up in the sky. Oh, cool! Yeah, that's pretty smart. Look at that. Let's see if we get a picture of all of our ships and that. That's pretty cool. There we go. Look at that. So you got a you got a football? You gonna What's that? That's pretty cool. Oh, it's one of the beta tests. Oh. I, guess. I call it the bowling ball. That's a nice ship, man. Right, okay, we we'll get out my SRV and we'll take a picture. I'm gonna come and get next to me, pals, and we'll take a picture. Okay. Yeah, this could be the official Goatfish Expedition picture. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Big X in the background as well. Awesome. Um, so, Birdlets, we've been following the stars that make up the Capricorn um, constellation. And we this is it. This is the last place. This is the last planet. That, sorry, that uh, last system that makes up that, um, that constellation. Um, uh, and it's called Castra, and that's where we are. So, we've been looking for Raxler here, and unfortunately, we've not found it. We've had bags of fun. Um, what have we found? We found some pretty cool stuff. We found a, um, a, a 
gas chamber had a huge rings, didn't it? It was massive. Um, mm. It was it was just the biggest asteroid field I'd ever seen in the game so far. Um, we found three black holes all together. Right next to each other. Yeah, that was pretty cool, wasn't it? Um, so that was pretty awesome. Um, what else did we found? We just found lots of really big stars. Um, I just had bags of fun um, doing what we're doing. So yeah, it's been uh, it's been a lot of fun. It's been a pleasure flying with you, Powers. And uh, same here. You know, let's hope we can do the next one. I'm gonna drop a photo in your Discord. No uh, problems. There we go. In Commander Stream. Yeah, yeah, just oh, yeah. just put it in there, yeah, yeah. Or you can just put it in the Dragons Inn. That's all good. It's all good there. So I got a photo where you can you can check out the picture, see what we found. I found the right angle for the ship to read the letters, barely. All oh, right. Oh, is it hidden? Is it? Yeah, and I put it in your Discord. I can barely read that, mate. Hold but on. you can tell what it says. Uh no. In the in the photo. No, I can't. But do I? I mean, I can try and look in game. Should we do that then? Sure. Oh, that's actually birds. What you call it? Um, star sign, Capricorn. So that's pretty cool, isn't it? Should have joined us. Yeah. All right, what are we looking at here? So there's some lettering here somewhere, is there? Yeah, it's above the tail fins. Oh, oh look, I can see it. Oh. Look, I can see it. Can you see that, people? Look, people, can you see that? Can you see what he's named his, he named his ship? I don't know if you can okay. see that. Now we can claim we found it. That's so there we go. Right there we go, ladies and gentlemen. We found Raxler. <laughs> right under our noses. <laughs> <laughs> Have you actually named it Raxler? Have you named it Goatfish? That's the ship ID. The yeah. The ship <laughs> yeah. So there it is, hidden away in front of our noses all the time. <laughs> I like that. That's another good picture I got there. Yeah, I was thinking about uh, naming it the Speckled Hen, putting bar SH at the top. Mine's called the Speckled Hen. I know, and for the last few streams, that's ex the exact paint job you had too. Yeah. Oh, it is. Yes, I, I did that. I did that for when I was doing the uh, the lave stuff. So, by the moment, I got the tactical ice one. There's the, the Speckled Hen in all her glory, looking a little speckled because she's been out exploring. So, that's all good. I like that paint job. It looks good. It does, doesn't it? I think it's the best one I've bought for him. I've bought a few for her. Um, and, uh, yeah, this is, I think this is a, my favorite one. There's another one that's white as well that's um, pretty good. But I think this one's the best one I've got for it so far. Uh, Look at that, got a big ring over the planet. That's awesome. Yeah, absolutely great. So on that note, I think we're going to bring the stream to a, 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 a crashing close. Um, if you've been watching and you've not done so already, please like and subscribe. Um, if you've just been watching in the background there, um, you want to know a little bit more about what it is that we're getting up to here. Um, um, <laughs> Bird ships called Fat Linda. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. um, so you can take a look um, 
in the description of this video and you'll see my Discord server. You'll see the Magpie Mafia Discord server, which is where I'm talking from right now. Um, and you will also see um, a link to Ineffectual Gaming um, uh, server as well, Discord server. Um, also, there's a bunch load of content creators on there too. Go and have a look at some of the content they create. Um, and also a link through to uh, the Magpie Mafia Inara details too, which is our wing that we have. In case you want to come and see us in Inara, go and, go and see what's going on there. So if you need to get hold of me, get hold of me on that Discord server. Uh, keep an eye out, because this, this will not be the only time that we go searching for Raxler. There will be other occasions where we get out there and take a look. And remember, Commanders, no matter how hard it may seem, no matter how hidden Raxler may be, we will find it, and they will never, ever take the skies from us.